I'm Jim Fitzgerald, a Lean Six Sigma Master Black Belt and Innovation Master. This is a discussion on how you make Lean Six Sigma sticky. It takes more than tools. Are you thinking about implementing Lean Six Sigma? What platform are you going to load it on? How would you define success? Lean Six Sigma is so much more than just a bunch of tools. When Toyota talks about Lean Six Sigma, they are really talking about the Toyota production system. Lean Six Sigma is a set of tools that receives the maximum effectiveness when it is applied on top of a supportive system. Think about the ramifications of a business system lasting 60 years. No flavor of the day, no new very best program with each new CEO. But the strange thing is, is that the Toyota production system changes every day. The question here is what happens if you set a goal and then go for it, but don't address the underlying environment? Or is your goal to address the underlying environment and then see where you go from there? The first thing to do is to assess and alter your business philosophy. You need employee enablement and buy-in and a willingness to change. This will create the business philosophy needed to land a successful Lean Six Sigma project on. If you don't design and execute your philosophy, then it is left to happenstance. It makes sense to create the platform to build your own successful business system on. Let's start by discussing a philosophy focused around a most valuable asset, your employees. Many businesses will tell you that their most important asset is their employees. If the most important resource to your business is employees, do employees know that? Do they feel like they are? How do you tell them? The Gemba is the workplace where value is added to the product or service for your customers. Toyota has a no layoff policy just like HP used to have. Spread the love. How about arming every first line manager with $100 a quarter to surprise someone? Leave it up to the manager about how to deliver it. When GM ran Numi, it was their worst plant in America. When GM combined with Toyota to operate this plant, Toyota gave each worker the capability to stop the assembly line. In fact, they required each worker to stop the assembly line if they noticed a defect. GM freaked. They said the workers would stop the line just for fun. When Numi was closed years later by GM, it was their highest operating plant in America. And good luck with your endeavors with Lean Six Sigma.